I was going, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> the world's in collapse here and we're not doing anything about it. Climate change is just dealt with as if it was any other discrete environmental issue. For years, we said we can solve this if everyone would just put the right light bulbs and buy a Prius. Liven your morning up, maybe. <laughs> what we really needed to be doing was from the very beginning, raising hell. When you were videoing uh, Ken riding his canoe to stop the icebreaker from leaving, um, and at the gas station where he was accused of trespassing in a Santa suit <laughs> while telling people about the harms of climate change. Uh, were you personally confronted by law enforcement? Not, uh, I mean, confronted is not the right word. Um, in the case of the Fenica, they had this safety zone that they had established that no one could be within, I think, 100 yards. In the case of the gas station direct actions, I had a long lens with me. I was fully expecting them to tell me that I had to leave the property and I would have to go to the sidewalk and film from the sidewalk. But they never did, and so I was just right there filming. For When he shut off the Trans Mountain Pipeline, that was obviously a much bigger deal. We knew that. Um, so I had a cinematographer with me that day, Carl Davis, and the two of us um, were waiting at the site where Ken said he was going to be. He drove up in his car. We followed him across a field, and then there was a big fence where Ken cut the fence, the, the chain that was keeping the fence together. We just filmed everything from on the outside of this fence, and it was far away and through a fence. It was kind of a drag as a filmmaker, but I was maintaining my boundaries. And, and then the cops, we had to wait and wait for the cops. Eventually they came and we were filming him, hoping to get the scene of him being, you know, handcuffed and put in the back of a police car. And instead the cop said, you know, you're on private property on that field, you gotta leave or you're gonna be arrested for trespass. So we did, we picked up and we walked back across the field to our car and then when we got there, there was another police officer there who started asking very leading questions, at which point my training kicked in and I said, am, am I being, you know, detained? And he said, yes, you are. So I stopped answering questions and they arrested us and charged us not only with misdemeanor trespassing, but with the same three felonies that they charged Ken with, which was uh, burglary, sabotage, and assemblage of saboteurs.